this video we're going to be talking about frank edwards he said he went to a particular church after he went to that church all the glory in his life disappeared he could not be inspired to do music again ha! until he now went for um pastor dr paul Eneche called him and when pa pastor dr Eneche called him and prayed for him that's when his head now opened and he was not able to do music things are happening now. before we go on please let me welcome my special odoku diamonds my beautiful shaprapa people you guys welcome me. as you are coming in before you take your seat please like the video subscribe to the channel and if you want to say thank you for your good work please check the link in the pinned comment section to appreciate this channel so let us listen to what um, frank edwards if i call him pastor frank edwards has to say and why you people should be careful Waka 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 prayer here dear prayer there tomorrow be be careful. Uh, Pastor, I've been wanting to to share this testimony public, you know, so that people will know and understand the impact that you have in my life as a man of God. By the grace of God, you know, by the grace of God, I've been doing ministry, music ministry for, for some years now. And, um, you know, they invite you everywhere and you just, you know, with free heart, you happily go there, you know, to minister to, to the people of God. Sometimes, out of excitement, you don't even cross-check where you're going to. The altar that is in charge there what is in control, what is... You just, out of excitement, we just go everywhere. So, I remember that I was working on an album project. You know, I don't, I don't write songs. I receive them. So I don't have a songbook, you know. I mean, my team will tell you, I don't have any songbook anywhere with anything written. I've never written one song in my life. So, but I know that I was getting ready for this album project and the Lord has given me a lot of songs. And I went somewhere to minister, I won't mention the name of the place. I could tell that my, my head emptied. Head emptied. When I mean my head, I mean, I'm, I'm a well-trained sound engineer. I'm a producer. I do my songs myself, so it's not like I didn't know what I was doing. But after I came back from that place, I could not do anything. I'll get into the studio. It feels like there's a blockage. And I didn't know what was going on. Time was going, you know, people were asking me, what is going on? We've not heard from you. You know, people say, what's going on? We've not heard from you. I just keep saying, I'm working, I'm working. But I could tell that there was a blockage somewhere. And fast forward, you know, the man of God sent for me, not for an event, just for us to have a conversation. And, you know, he engaged me, he said, what's going on? I had to open up to him, I said, Pastor, look at this, you know, look at that, look at where I've been to. And then he said, now I see what the problem is. It is not everywhere that you go to. It is not everywhere. You have to know, you have to be prayerful about places you go to. He said, I'm not saying to you, don't go anywhere. I'm not saying don't, don't go there. But at least pray. And then he said that just very short prayer over the phone, sir, the very next day. It felt as if they opened an entire window of heaven. <laughs> and, you know, some begin to pour like, There will be a heavy downpour. 
of God's blessings today. I hate me that blood of God's favor today. So, so, and, and, and since then, there has been an overflow. Since then, there, there has been an overflow, not just in songs, every area of my life. Every area of my life. And you know, Pastor, I want to publicly say a very big thank you. I want to appreciate you for, for being a father. As busy, as busy, as hectic as the man of God's event is, he says to me, Frank, Please, anytime you need anything. I don't know if you're hearing me. He didn't say anytime you need advice. He said, whatever you need, tell me. If I don't do it, just know it's beyond my capacity. And I said, sir, this is a blank check, but no even need for that. You see this one prayer you made? He has given me everything. It's everything. I can't count things that has happened. I can't count how many things that has happened since I became, you know, connected to you. And today I want to publicly say thank you so much. I love you, sir. God bless you. God bless your family. And um, I will continue to make you proud. <laughs> Jesus must be honored. Must be honored. Must, must be, be honored. Now, wow, <laughs> you guys, I'm like, damn, which church do you think is the only You see, at the end of the day, we all need to be very careful. You know, in the early days of. Um, Many, 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 many years ago, those old Pastor Chris's messages, I don't even think those type of messages are still in circulation. It's because of things like this that Pastor Chris stopped inviting um, some ministers from, most ministers from other um, denomination to Christ Embassy. Because I remember when I was still in school, there's some old Pastor Chris messages as at that time that they had like external people that they used to invite and all those type of things. Now, you know, the, the thing about Nigerian church, like somebody was telling me the other day that there are a lot of churches that because... Uh, that there are a lot of shrines, exactly, let me put it that way. There are a lot of shrines that parade themselves as churches. So, because they know that it is fashionable to go to church, you understand? Or it's fashionable to for people to say, oh, I'm a Christian, I'm a believer. So, instead of them to practice their idol worship or their occultic practice, they will now masquerade it that it is a church, <laughs> you understand? So, you have to pray for discernment. Like, personally, it's not everywhere I go to. I, I've had my own experience. I'll maybe one day I'll do a video um, one time that I just strayed from going to the churches that I normally go to. I have the streams of churches that I go to. If a person is not from Papai Dausa's line, um, or Yediko's line, which is still Papai Dausa's line, it is hard, though. It is hard for me. I just... You know, it's really very difficult. Like, <laughs> I take those things very seriously, and I've I've observed that sometimes, even if I don't know the person, like, and I'm just drawn to the person, I'll see that somehow the person is connected to Papa Dausa. It always happens because I, me, I know that stream that there's no ambiguity, there's no, you understand, there's no crooked inside. It's the word of God ahead. We know there's the word of God. There's no backyard salt, backyard water, all those type of things. Anyway, for all of you that like to waka waka, I wish you well. Because if we talk now, you will say, eh, so no, allow, but you say you have heard. Eh, eh. Don't look for what is not missing. Yeah, Jesus Christ is enough for all of us. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.